Today I'm going to go over how to use the slip bag or the headhunter. This is not a slip bag. The slip bag is usually a little bit smaller, kind of like shaped like a, a speedball filled with sand or rocks or whatever. The headhunter is a little bit bigger, filled with water. You can actually punch it as well. I love the headhunter for that because you can punch it and slip it at the same time. What we're gonna do here is just like the progression, okay? Because we're not gonna have it moving. First, let's start with the stationary. So we're here. My head's right in front of the ball, okay? Now from here, I'm just gonna get used to moving side to side. This side, this side. I'm just barely missing the punch. I'm missing, 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 all right? And then I can duck. So work on keeping my balance. I'm using my core to create the movement. So if I always move within the confines of my core, I'll never be off balance. As soon as I move outside the confines of my core with my body, now I'm off balance. If I keep my core engaged, if my core can take me, I'm gonna be in position, ready to move again, slip, or even punch. One of the things we also wanna do is, you notice, I'm doing it with my hands down. With my hands down, I can then also rotate a little bit um, from my trunk and my hips a little bit side to side. With my hands up, it makes it tougher to do that rotation. So you're gonna move a little bit slower, but however, I would practice moving with my hands first, have them up, here, here, here. Okay, roll in front, roll the other way. Because if you can do it with your hands up, when it comes to doing it with your hands down, it's even that much easier. Why don't you go a lot quicker? Here, 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 here. All right, so then next again, this is the progression. So start with the ball, not moving, just here, here, go to the side, get down, get down, roll in front, do it both ways. Once you got that down, then we'll keep the ball stationary still. How about we move our feet first before we start moving the ball? So then I can move here with my feet, here, 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 all right? I can uh, duck this way, come this way, this way. And of course, with my hands down, it's even a lot quicker. The other thing I want you to notice is, I don't know if you can see it, but my eyes. My eyes, I've got both eyes on the target the whole time. I'm not gonna turn this way and look at the one eye. Both eyes. So as I'm doing all my movements, I'm always looking at the target with both eyes. Because if you can see the punch coming, you can react to it. Even if it hits you, you can still react to it. If it's a punch you don't see that knocks you out. So this way also helps you focus on constant eye engagement Turn that head to make sure both eyes are on the target. All right, go ahead. Woo! Have some fun with that.